Hey guys, welcome back to Arthur Minecraft Spiky plugin tutorial here. Today I'll be showing you an amazing plugin called Ultra Set Homes. It's a plugin that can be used to set different types of homes at different places of the world. So I'm just going to show you the features and the commands and everything. Just the preview of the plugin and you can actually just view this picture over here. This, this is how the GUI is going to look. And I'm going to show you how to change the primary home and I'm going to show you how to add different items as the preview item here. As you can see this has an XP bottle. I'm going to show you how to change it to that. And yeah, you can actually just like see the commands over here which I'm going to be showing in game. The best thing is it even supports floodgate and gazer. I'm not sure how to spell that out. And it supports UUID so it's not suggested for crack servers and it, it even has bungee card support which is really great but i won't be showing that as i'll be showing only the spigot preview of the plugin and all images are even customizable if you wish to change anything so it'll be in the yml files which you can edit and yeah that's pretty much that there's a lot of more features which you can view and yeah it's pretty much that there's a lot of more features which i'll be showing you in game will not all well not all the features but yeah and here's some permissions you need to be aware of. If you wish to limit the number of homes a person can create, you can just add this permission to the user's group or just him or her. You can just type ultra set homes and limit 5 or 10 or 15 home neighbor homes you want to limit him to or her to. And here's the one you can use to like just give unlimited limit. And here's the permission for players to be able to use the plugin. And here's the permission to bypass the cooldown. And there's even the world guard flags here which you can use i won't be showing this because it's just extra stuff you can try it yourself later and yeah that's pretty much that you can even just like try this server right now because they're using the plugin and yeah i'll show you in game all right so i'm back in game here right now and i'm going to show you how to use this plugin so before you start this video Make sure to check out Revive Host. It's a premium hosting service that offers hostings like Minecraft hosting, VPS hosting, game hosting, and even website hosting. You can purchase an affordable Minecraft hosting starting from only $1.5. You can also use my code ARROW to get 10% off discount. Alright, so the first thing is you need to set your home. So I'm just going to type set home. But now it's going to tell me to choose a name which I'm going to choose. So I'm just going to choose a name like first so now to modify the world all you would do is just slash homes and there's a pretty gui here you can actually just view all this stuff here the information currently i'm hope so i can actually like own max homes like 54 i can add maybe i can add more but i'll, sh I'll show you that later so here's my first world so if i left click it i get teleported to the world and if i want to modify it something like right click and here's a menu which you can use to modify your home you can actually delete your home and set this to your primary so now if i just type like home it's not gonna ask me for the name it automatically teleports me there i'm gonna again show you more modifications which you can do so right click and here are some stuff you can change the location to here so now if every time you teleport to the first home you're going to teleport here and so this is the last one to show you so if you want to change the item all you got to do is just hold the item in your inventory and then click this and then choose whatever you want right now i just want this so it has changed so if i type slash homes as you can see the block has changed and there are more commands of course so you can add homes to my account or remove homes i'm just gonna remove some homes like nine homes so as you can see my homes have been removed from my account so I can even add more but it's not going to change from my account because I'm currently opt and and you can even remove your home with a command which is slash remove home and the home name and there it is it's removed so if you even try to open the GUI later it's going to say you don't have a home so it's pretty much that command wise if you want to use permissions I've already showed you at the starting of the video on what permissions to use you can just use log perms group manager or permissions x or plugins like that and it'll help you and yeah let's go into the configuration so these are the files we'll be finding in the ultra search homes plugin folder so the only thing you need to edit is config.yml so there's a very detailed configuration here which you can view there are even understandable messages here that you can use if you have any problems you can contact the author and this is the part where you need to like add the home limit and stuff if you want to use the home limit permission just type true and then 
you can edit the home limit so like if i wanted it to be 60 homes next time someone tries to add homes to their account 60 will be the more another number of seconds for cooldown i'm just gonna add five and i'm gonna put this to three and these are some other configurations you can edit on your interest i don't think you need to worry about this if you just gonna like run it normally and here's the database you can actually use my sql and here's the commands for home home set homes and remove homes it's pretty cool to actually edit them so like if i didn't so like if you had a server called imperial survival or you gotta use like i set home or something like that to match your server theme it's pretty cool actually you can just like put i and then i and i so yeah that's that and here's the prefix you can edit if you just want it to be like homes or something like that you can like cut it out there here are the messages that you can edit i won't be editing them because they're already good and here's the gui stuff i'm not going to be showing you much into this because you don't need to edit them it's, it's pre-set up and it's easily used in game and here's the one which i showed you where it shows the max homes and least homes or something like that if you had a theme like red and blue you can just change it here with the color codes it's pretty simple because everything is configurable and yeah it's pretty much that you, you even got messages for unknown command and invalid syntax it's pretty cool to actually configure that because no other plugin actually does that and yeah the configuration is pretty much that you, you can use the plugin from 1.16 to 1.18 maybe even 1.19 once a stable version has been released so yeah if you like the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more and comment down if you need any more tutorials, see you.